Hey friends, welcome back to the studio and to your very first ESA database tutorial. So what is ESA database? Basically, ESA is a fast cross-platform NoSQL local database made for Flutter. For those who are not familiar with some of these terminologies, cross-platform means that it can run across multiple platforms, in this case from Android, iOS, desktop and web platforms. ESA being a NoSQL database means it stores data in other means other than the tabular format in relational databases. It is similar to databases such as Hive and MongoDB. However, just like Hive, ESA is built locally. For instance, on a device, that's a local database. So in a nutshell, IESA database is a database that runs across multiple platforms, stores data in a non-tabular format, runs on the local platform, and it's built for Flutter. In addition to all of that, ESA has specific features built in it. It's highly scalable, meaning it can store hundreds of thousands of records in a single database. Asynchronous, it supports, it supports asynchronous query executions. What this means is that when a query call is executed, a future is created that waits for the response from the database and returns the response once it is ready without having to block other query calls to be made. This allows high database throughput which scales up the performance of the system. Next, it's open source, meaning the original source code is freely available. It's also multi-platform. It supports Android, iOS, desktop, and web platforms. Next, it's ACID compliant. ACID means atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. What atomicity does, it prevents updates to the database occurring partially. If a part of a transaction fails or the transaction is canceled in the process, the database remains unchanged. If a transaction has two statements, for example, withdraw from one account and deposit to another, if either of the statements fail, the database remains unchanged. Only when all the statements of the transaction pass is a database updated. Next is consistency, which means the database is left in a valid state even at the point of error or failure. Isolation means that each transaction is executed concurrently as it retains the state of the database. Therefore, a transaction does not wait for another transaction to complete for it to proceed. Lastly is durability which means the data is retained and unchanged even if the system crashes. Another important feature is the full text search, which is a comprehensive search method that compares a word being searched against every word within the document or database, which is pretty cool. And lastly, ESA provides static typing, which essentially means that checks are made to detect errors quickly and reduce the time spent on debugging for the developer. So in this series, then you're going to learn all the basics of ESA database as you build a simple Flutter app. And finally, I have created course files for every single lesson in this series. You'll find it here on ESA Flutter tutorials repository. I'll leave the link to this down below in the video. If you want to check out the code for a specific lesson, select a branch from the drop down. If you want to download the zip folder of a particular lesson, go to code, the green button to the right and download zip. So that's about it for introduction to ESA database. Next up, I'll take you through the outline of the project that we'll work on in this series. I hope you're going to join in and be on your way to be a Flutter champ. And I'll see you guys on the next video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Otherwise, subscribe to these videos and I'll see you on the next one.